Now we will log into Nearpod. Since you have already created a web clip, all you will need is the code. Your teacher will have shared the code with you. Hopefully you copied it so you can simply paste it in. I'm going to go to Nearpod now. When I come to this screen, it will ask me in the student section on the right to enter a code. If I have copied the code, I can click into the box, locate my two papers above my keyboard, which is my paste option. When I click on these two pieces of paper, it will paste my code into the white box above. If I didn't copy and paste it, I will simply just use the keyboard to type it in. When I am done, I will hit join. Once you join Nearpod, you will not be moving through the slides on your own. Your teacher will be moving them for you. So you might just need to wait. While you are waiting, please don't touch anywhere outside of Nearpod. If you should accidentally leave Nearpod, you would need to enter again and enter again with the code. While I'm waiting, I might see that slides are beginning to move. This is my teacher starting the lesson. I can hear my teacher in Google Meet or see my teacher talking in the classroom. But I can also see what they are talking about on my own screen. For example, my teacher is asking me to answer a question. When I click on my answer, I will either wait for my teacher to say submit or submit if my teacher asks me to do so as soon as I answer. Again, I might just be waiting for my friends in my class to finish answering. I will wait until I see my slides move again. This is my teacher letting me know that we are moving on to the next part of the presentation. When I am directed to do so, I will then add in my answers into any of the interactive slides. For example, in this one, it is asking me to share my thoughts or images. I can do that by clicking in the white box. I'll be able to type any of my answers here, or I can click on the little box with the mountains and add a photo. I can look for one up in Google. I can click on the middle, and I will have access then to my photo library, or I could take a picture. Once I have selected my photo, I just hit save and it'll add to this interactive board. Again, I will wait for any directions until my teacher tells me so. My screen may be moving and again, this is my teacher letting me know that we are moving on to the next portion of the presentation. Here, I'm asked to draw. I see I have draw tools available for me on the bottom. Whenever I'm done answering my questions, I'm going to use a big square, two lines, and four units to demonstrate this one. I will be selecting Submit. That is how Nearpod works. If, again, you do accidentally leave, you will need to re-enter with the code. Hopefully, all you'll need to do is hold down and hit Paste once again.